Shocking, isn't it? Hello, people. Zach, Plenty Millionaire here, and today I'm going to show you um, basically our top scariest creatures from games. My first one is the crawlers from Dead Space 2. Crawlers are reanimated infants, much like the lurker, uh, but serves another function. The torso is grossly enlarged with an organic explosive substance under its skin. The body and head are twisted backwards so that the crawler may move with the sack pointed upwards. The back of the legs and the body are fused together, <laughs> giving the crawler an almost caterpillar-like movement. Yeah, that's not a caterpillar. Um, <laughs> crawlers tend to slip uh, while moving. Trump, uh, yeah stumbling about for a few seconds before resuming their attacks on Isaac, the main character of the game. These guys are fucking scary. They literally blow up when they come, they crawl towards you. And when you walk into the room and you first see them, um, you're just want to kill them all with fire. Apparently you can cut off their heads and they won't explode, but you can also use them to help you in, fight in certain situations. But they're just really fucking disturbing. <laughs> so that's my first one. Alright everyone, this is Shed Midnight here. We're doing a big collab video, so if it gets all crazy, don't blame me. The first one I'm going to talk about is Re-Deads from like any Zelda game ever. I mean ever. Like, you could go from Ocarina of Time to Twilight Princess to Wind Waker, it doesn't matter. They're all scary. They each have their own differences, obviously. I find that Twilight Princess scares me a lot more just because of the... It's shrieking, and then all of a sudden you can't move and it's slowly coming towards you. I also don't like the fact that they are in one of the darkest, scariest points of the game besides like the Twilight Realm, I guess. But yeah, that's my first one. Keep them away from me and we're all good. Hello, it's Sam, um, or Samuel or whatever. I'm here to talk to, you about my, talk to you about my first monster I kind of fear, which is The Fiend. From Witcher 1 to 3. It's a three eyed monster which has a strength of a lot of men, let's say that. And they are known to be vicious, brutal, and above all terrifying. They get this they can kill you very quickly if you're not prepared. You have to use certain weapons against them. And well, they're the most okay is the most Terrifying looking all looking bastards you ever see in any video game. They make like they make the warper seem like a freaking beauty. This thing is well almost an unstoppable force of nature. Oh can insta kill you and you always have to watch out for their movements. And that's all I know about the fiend. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is that Wolford guy. Uh, so my first one is the witch from Left 4 Dead. Definitely one of the scariest things ever. The first time you meet her, she's just crying alone in the corner. Looks like a poor, poor woman in this apocalyptic wasteland. And then she rips your legs off. All the fun. My second monster that is scary as all hell is actually from Dark Souls. Uh, the first Dark Souls actually, Dark Souls 1, is the Gaping Dragon. Uh, the Gaping Dragon is found in a large open chamber in, near the gate to Blight Town. Um, this thing is very misleading when you first see it. When you first see it, it looks like a cute little alligator. Then it crawls up and you see these big rolls of teeth and uh, it's Gross. The gaping dragon has developed an additional pair of legs to sustain its large stomach, and even enough, even though it cannot fly, its four mangled wings are used against in high uh, to assist in high jumps. Its own ravenous gluttony is tr also transformed into its rib cage into a gigantic vertical maw that can inflict cr crushing bites and oozing oozes acid while its head uh, regressed to a stubby uh, proboscis to detect potential prey. This thing is very disturbing. When I first saw it, I kind of flipped out and um, after I beat the boss and everything like that, I uh, closed the game for a bit. 
So yeah, that's that's my next creature that was scary. Alrighty, so my next pick for the scariest monster I've ever encountered is spiders. Honestly, I wish spiders just didn't exist. I know they're good for the ecosystem or whatever, but come on, spiders, seriously. Just no, spiders are horrible. I know that every game ever pretty much has them in some way or form. Metroid Prime looks like a giant spider. Twilight Princess, spiders. Zelda, spiders. Every game, Zelda, Metroid, Sonic. It doesn't matter. Spiders, evil. Kill them all with fire. The end. All right, next monster I fear. Well, everyone fears them. The sea dragon leviathan. A. They're all, sure they're only found in like the lava castle zone. But they're also very, very, very terrifying. They burn you alive, they eat you whole, and they destroy your ship. Simple as that. They kill you, and you ha and then you have to start all the way from scratch. Unless you save beforehand. Which would be lucky you, unless you forgot to save. Other than that, then you're screwed and all that. That's my opinion. It's about the sea dragon Leviathan. It's an actual fun fact about the that I found out about the the that what was it the sea dragon Leviathan, right? Yeah. Um, it's most of its skin is dead. Oh God. It's actually dead skin. Most of it. I'm not kidding. When you uh... scan, if you somehow manage to scan this thing, it actually has dead skin. Like most of its skin is dead. Yay! Fun facts. Yeah, fun fact. Um, yeah. Okay, so my next one is definitely a dragon priest, but not just any Krosis. Oh, never since I got accepted to the Nordic Space Program was I ever this scared. Uh, the scariest thing about him is all the other dragon priests are located in tombs, so you're expecting them to find their, them there, but Krosis, nope, he likes to play a little bit differently. He likes to be beside a word, word wall. So while you're just out there collecting all your words, trying to get all those coveted dragon shouts, you meet him, and he launches you off the side of a mountain while you're frozen. Only the greatest of death screens you can get from this guy. There's another fun fact about Krosis. Did you know that if you're not if you're not careful, you can have to fight him and a dragon. Oh God. Yeah, because he's at a word wall. Yep. <laughs> the, the thing the thing was, I came from above, so I was frozen, fell down the mountain, and like instantly failed. Because I was looking Yay. for the word wall, and it was like, okay, apparently there's a word wall right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, there's no dragon. Ah, shit. <laughs> he's, a fire he, he, he's adept at ice magic, but he uses a fire staff, so you're burning and freezing at the same time. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> it, no, no, it isn't. Especially when you're level 30, because that's when you f can first meet him. All right, my uh, next scariest creature is SCP-006. It's an object class Keter. Um, you can find this game in um, SCP Containment Breach, uh, this character anyway. He's an old man, basically, so it has no finch. Um, basically, it says right on it, the revision, no physical interaction with SCP-106 is allowed at any time. Any physical interaction must be approved by no less than two-thirds votes from 05 command. Any such interaction must be undertaken in R2 maximum security sites after general non-essential staff evacuation. All staff are, are to remain at at least six meters away from the containment cell at all times, except for when, in, when there's an event of a breach. Um, it has to be contain contained in a sealed container compromised with lead-lined steel containers uh, sealed within 40 layers of identical material, each layer separated by no less than 36 centimeters of empty space. Support struts between layers are be randomly spaced. The container remains suspended no less than 60 centimeters from any surface, and uh, basically it has to have a lot of like electromagnet supports and stuff like that. When you first see this thing, it comes through like ground, like corrosive, and it likes to appear. He looks really old. He appears elderly, and and like he's rotting. But he, uh, if I remember correctly, from when I last seen him, he likes to uh, 
reach his hand out t- towards you or something like that, or just walks up to you. But once he hits you and b- cripples you, he puts you in his pocket dimension, which you have to survive. And if you don't, he kills you. So that's fun. This old man, he ain't going home. Oh, man. Hey, this old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee, and then he threw me in a hole. I ain't getting out no more. Is that he likes to, he has like, um, in the game, do you see little splotches on the ground randomly? He likes to come up through those. And, um, yeah, it's very scary. Like, you just see him coming up, and then you're like, turn around, and you're like, nope. <laughs> um, you actually have to contain him in the game to actually get the proper ending as well. And contain him is just a pain in the arse as well, because you actually have to... The sad thing is, you actually have to put a D-class personnel, like a, a, a person, in the cell, break his seamer to get the person to... get the SCP to come into the room. That is Great. horrible. <laughs> yep! <laughs> Alrighty, so the third one, for me, is Dead Hand from Ocarina of Time. I'm sure if you heard that name, and you grew up with Zelda like any other kid usually does... At some point in your life, you'll run into him. And let me tell you this much, when you first encounter him, he's quite terrifying. For one, he's covered in like blood splotches and like almost looks like bruises. He has no hands, except for, well, the room itself, which is covered in long like protruding hands from the ground. It's quite terrifying to think about compared to stupid spiders, but still, he's quite intriguing because when you first enter the room, there's nothing there except the hands, of course. So you walk up to investigate, and then it happens. He grabs you, and you're stuck being strangled. You thought re was bad, frickin' this guy comes out of nowhere and tries to eat your head. So, your best suggestion, either A, don't play this frickin' game, or B, be ready to run and slash and stab. You only see him in Ocarina of Time. Hello, I'll talk to you about my third most terrifying monster the keeper from the evil within he basically well in evil within he kidnaps you you're trapped in the room that is being filled up with toxic gas the only way to escape is well stun him then turn off all the valves and escape well either you either stun him or you either kill him your the choice is well yours and of course he always responds and then you always have to kill him repeatedly over and over and over but you can always have a chance to run and deal with it because well he responds anyways so best not waste any ammo or whatever against this bastard because well he will kill you in an instant that's if well you're being an idiot or well you that that or well you don't know that was your first time playing the game. That's all I have to say about this monster. It, fun fact, he's actually a father. He's the reason why he's actually in the game, because it's in one of the DLC, they explain it in the DLC. He's actually in there to try to try and find his daughter, to save his daughter. Like, they put him in there and he became that thing. Well, that's terrifying. Yeah, like, literally in the DLC, you do play as him. Hmm. Doom. A really fun game and a popular game for people when we were uh, when we were kids. Scary because we were in hell and everything like that, playing as Doom guy. But one of the scariest enemies for me in in Doom, even in the first, thir- second, and third one, even the new one, was Pinky. Um, it's a returning form classic from a demon from Enemy Doom and to, and all these other cre- from all of them basically. Um, the animals are unnamed by those in hell. They're they're named pinkies due to their unusual skin pigmentation when they were first discovered. Their aggressive nature, the living, is well documented as well. Um, pinkies will charge once their prey is detected. Using their uh, cordial bone plate that covers their face as a battering ram, they accelerate quickly but have limited control while charging. Their inability to stop quickly also or turn makes them vulnerable to charging over ledges or into hard surfaces which makes them a little bit less scary but when you first see these creepy things you want to run like you're you freak they freak you out because literally you do not want to see that face charging towards you um like ew gross 
Uh, they are easy to avoid, but they are very da ferocious and dangerous opponents, much tougher and far more aggressive than their classic counter counterpart. Um, the ability to severely damage or outright kill players. Um, their main method of attack is their charge, but they can also uh, follow up with uh, go uh, goring or biting attacks right after their charge if they land a charge on you. They make also a loud uh, guttural snarling sound similar to a boar so they're just you just don't want to hear them coming towards you the scary mother truckers i swear to god i hate seeing these things even in their pixel pixelated version they were scary as fuck it's chris walker from outlast now i'm sure if you've seen anyone play that game you know who he is he's the big fat guy who has a scary face you know that guy i don't know screw every logic that i have in my brain right now he basically is terrifying because you have no weapons in that game. There's a ton of scary monsters to begin with, but he is very determined to get you. So basically what I'd recommend is stay the hell away from him, and if you can't, run, run, run. Hello everyone, this is the Master. We're in the most, the last and yet the most terrifying and memorable bosses you ever fight in the Fallout. The first one, of course, but as well. One, he's freaking disgusting looking. Two, he is leader of the super mutants. And three, well, and three, well, he is basically the mastermind of all the super mutants. He is basically made out of computer like parts, flesh, and the FEV, the forced evolutionary virus, which is the virus that the Enclave once made in, well, fall in the entire Fallout series. Yeah. He is also a very tough boss. It does like I believe like well forty damage per hit and you have like a hundred health, I believe. Can't remember. I played the game a long time. But the game is fun. He's terrifying. And well and well it's also kind of an epic fight. You just have to learn how he fights and what you should use against him, what armor to wear, and everything. Or you could join him, or you could die. The choice is yours, of course. Whether you are. And, well, that's all I have about the Master. Out of all the list, basically. We have to discuss, we have to all agree on one. I think it's just the master. You think the master's your scariest? Yeah. Deadhand and Chris, and Chris Walker were both of the two scariest ones for me, anyway. Which is the only person who actually made me shit my pants. So, basically the master as well. Because, well, did he have like a, a spider body? Oh my god, kill oh, it with yeah, fire. Oh yeah, that's true. Kill it the with fire. The master did have a spider-like body. Kill it with fire. Because he was a machine. Burn and it. And flesh combined. Burn it now. <laughs> Get the gasoline! What are you waiting for? The frick is wrong with you guys not telling me about this? <laughs> it's got a spider body. <laughs> what did you I'm glad this is part of the discussion. But we all need to agree. Out of those three, which one's the scariest? Spiders. My vote's master. been cast. <laughs> I would have to agree with the master. What about you, Matthew? Yeah, let's go with master. Master's yeah. definitely. Master is number one scariest on our list here. 